Hello, and welcome to another video in our how-to series. In this video, I'm going to be going over how we can use the NVR's interface to configure our NVR to only record when the cameras detect motion. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our NVR, and we're going to right-click to bring up the main menu. And then from this bottom settings row, we're going to click here where it says event. Now we want to be on video detection and motion detection tab. Um, if you're not already here, just go ahead and click on video detection in the menu on the left. Then make sure that you're on the motion detect tab. The next thing we want to do is select the channel of the camera that we want to record motion is on. So in my case, the camera is on channel 1, but you could also select any of the other channels. So we'll just go ahead and leave it on one. Then we want to make sure that this check mark for enabled is check marked. So you just click. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to set the sensitivity and threshold settings for the camera. So right here where it says region, we go ahead and click set. And now you'll see the camera's view and everything's going to have this red tint on it. That's good. What that means is that the camera is going to look over the entire image for motion. Uh, you can change this. So, you know, say these trees back here in the background, I don't really want the camera to look at those. You know, otherwise I'll be recording every time the wind blows. So if we just click in any of these boxes, you'll see that they turn clear. So we can just click here. We can also click and drag to mask off this area. And so now, the camera is no longer going to look for motion in this area. So anywhere that's clear and has no color, the camera is not going to detect motion in that area. So once we have you know, anything masked off that we don't want to detect, if we hover up here at the top, we'll get this drop down menu. And you'll see that we have sensitivity and threshold. So the sensitivity um, is pretty much just what it sounds like. It's going to control how sensitive the camera is to movement. So the higher the number, the more likely it's going to detect something moving as motion and begin recording. Um, by default, um, this is usually set to 60 or 50. Um, to start, I usually like to bump this up to 75. Um, it's usually a good starting place, that way it ensures that you know, it is going to detect motion and it is going to record. Um, if it's too sensitive, you can always drop it you know, later, um, but that's a good place to start. Um, the next setting is this threshold setting. And basically what this controls is how big the object needs to be for the camera to, to detect it. Um, it's very sensitive, so you can see by default it's usually set to around 5. Um, usually that's too high, and what will happen is that if someone were to walk by, like right here, um, in this area, it's going to think that it's too small, and it's not going to pick it up. So I usually just set the threshold you know, at 0. That's going to make sure that you know anything that moves in here, it's going to pick it up. Um, you know, same thing, like I said, for sensitivity. If you find that it's too much, you can always bump this up, you know, one or two. Um, I would, you know, I do small increments when you're adjusting these things. You know, test it out, see if that's what you like. You know, if you need more, bump it up. If you need less, bump it down. But I would do it in small increments. I would, you know, jump up to, you know, like 50 or something. So once you have your threshold and sensitivity settings set, you can either go ahead and right click to get out of the menu, or if we go back in here, you'll see there are also these four boxes. So what this will let you do is define different areas with different sensitivity and threshold settings. So what this is useful is, so say, 
like these trees cast a shadow um, when there's sun in the afternoon, and which is triggering my recording, and I don't necessarily want that. But on the same token, I still want the camera to detect motion right here. So if I just masked it out, I'm not going to get that. So what you can do is we can go ahead and, and clear this area. And then if we go up and click on number two, this yellow box, you'll see that my sensitivity and threshold settings changed. That's because I'm now on a different zone. And now what I can do is go back here where I want the different settings and go ahead and drag out another box. You see that it's yellow. And that directly corresponds with this color here. So now I can change the sensitivity and threshold settings for just this area only. You know, so maybe I want to you know, bump this down. You know, instead of having it clear up at 75, you know, maybe I bump it down to you know, 62 somewhere around there, and maybe I want to bump my threshold up to 1. And then now, this area is going to be less sensitive than the rest of this area, right? So the area in red is going to have its own setting, and the area in yellow is going to have its own setting. And so you have four, four different zones that you can control. Once you have you know, your zone's set up and you've masked off any areas that you don't want. You can go ahead and right click to get out of this menu. And the next thing we want to do is go down here where it says period. And if you click set here, you're going to see all the days of the week and then different hours. Um, normally when you're doing motion recording, um, you don't need to worry about this because most people, they want you know, if it's, if it's only going to record on motion, then I want it to be detecting motion all the time, right? But if you want it to, say you only want to record motion, you know, during the day, you could come in here, you know, and say, if we just click and drag here, we can remove time. So say on Mondays, I want to start recording at 6 a.m. And then maybe I want it to stop, you know, at 4 click and drag and get rid of this here. So now on Monday, it's not going to detect motion from midnight to 6 a.m. Then it's going to start detecting motion from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. So anywhere that's in yellow here means that it's going to detect motion. And this is only for the camera. Like this doesn't have anything to do with the NVR recording. This is just telling the camera that from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m., I want you to look for motion. Um, so you can do this for you know, all the different days of the week. Once you have that set like you'd like, you just go ahead and click OK. And the next thing that we need to worry about is right here where it says Record Channel. We want to make sure that this is checkmarked. And then if you click Set here, we also want to make sure that this number corresponds with the channel number that we're working on. Because what this will allow you to do is you can have multiple cameras be triggered to record when one camera detects motion. So if I were to highlight channel 3, for instance, anytime this channel detects motion, it's going to record both channel 1 and channel 3. Now if I were to uncheck 1, What's going to happen is channel 1 is going to detect motion and it's going to record on channel 3, but channel 1 is not going to record at all, right? Because it doesn't see, it's not checkmarked here. So it sees the motion and then this tells it which channel to record. So just make sure that this number corresponds with this one and you should be good. Unless you want to have other cameras recording when this one detects motion, that is also an option. But generally, you just want to have the camera that's detecting it record. So just make sure that that is set. The next option you might, may want to look into is recording snapshots. Um, if you're going to be getting push notifications on your phone, this is a good thing to do because it's going to save your data plan. 
So instead of having to, you know, download and, you know, watch, you know, a video, which can eat up a lot of data, you can just get a series of images. So if you want to do that, make sure the snapshot's checked. And then same thing as we do with the record channel, just make sure that this channel number corresponds with this one. Okay. And so that's pretty much it for setting up the motion detection on the camera. So once you have all this set, you can go ahead and click apply so that we save our settings. And the next thing we need to do is tell the NVR to only record motion. So this is just setting up the camera to detect motion, right? We need to tell the, the MVR that when the motion is detected, we're going to record. So in order to do that, we need to click over here where it says storage. And you want to make sure you're on schedule and record. Then you also, again, want to make sure that you are on the channel of the camera that you wish to have it record motion. So like again, in my case, the camera that I want to record motion is on channel one, so we'll select channel one. So by default, these cameras are all set to record 24 seven. So you'll see that there's a green line through all the days of the week and continuous is check marked up here. Now that's great. But in our case, we want it to only record when it detects motion so we can save space on our hard drive, right? That's the whole idea. So in order to do that, we need to click over here on one of these gear icons on the right. So you just click this first one, and you'll see that you get this period box. So if, if you're not going to have your camera scheduled for certain times, which normally if you're doing motion recording, you're not, you don't need to worry about these other periods. That's only if you're going to have the camera, you know, record at certain periods of the day. So what that would allow you to do is like we could set this from 000, which would be midnight, to, you know, 6 a.m. And then we could set this from 4 to midnight, right? So that would make it record from midnight to 6 then it'll skip from six until four and so on. Um, in this case, you probably don't need to worry about that. Just We're just gonna focus on period one here. So you'll see that continuous is check marked. We want to also check motion. And then we are going to click all to copy them to all of the days of the week and click okay. And now you'll see that you have both a green and yellow line here. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to check mark motion. So if motion is check marked up here, then the cameras are only going to record on motion. Um, this is very important. So you could you could have you know a green and yellow line here, but if you have continuous checked up here the camera is still going to continue to record 24 seven. So you need to make sure that motion is check marked right here. That way it's only going to record when it detects motion. And then once you have that, you'll just go ahead and click apply to save your settings. And now camera one is going only going to record when it detects motion. Now, if you wanted to do this to all of your cameras, you could click copy, right? So click copy and we can select all and it will copy the same settings to all of these channels. But that's only for the NVR. Remember, we still would have to go in to event and configure each individual camera. Um, so you do have the option here to also copy these settings. So you could copy these settings to all the rest of your cameras, but be aware that it's not going to copy your sensitivity and threshold settings. That has to be set for each individual camera. Um, so you can copy all of this, so you can copy the enabled, you know, the record channel, snapshot, etc. But it's not going to copy your sensitivity and threshold settings. That needs to be set for each individual camera. 
Anyway, I think that does it for this video. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you have tried to set this up and it's not working for you, um, as always, feel free to give us a call. Um, we're always happy to help. Our number is 888-508-3111. Thank you for choosing Monogate.